Hello. Uh, my name is Alexey Kulikov. Uh, I write JavaScript. I work as a lead developer at a project called Butterfly, where we help managers to become better. And uh, recently, CSS has got a lot of negativity. And I would like to defend it and say that with the same principles, it actually works pretty well. And our free developers team, uh, we have been developing an application during one year. We had a lot of iterations, a lot of prototyping. And we wrote more than 7,000 lines of code in just two important statements. And I'd like to share our experience. Uh, first principle is BAM. Uh, it's a core. Uh, for those who are not familiar with BAM, uh, please check BAM 101 on CSS tricks uh, and then start practice it. And if you would like to go further, check Suit CSS. Uh, second principle is post CSS and CSS next. Uh, we don't use any specific preprocessor, only this. And this allows us to write future CSS syntax and gives us nice features like variables and nesting. And also auto prefixers, prefixer allow to avoid uh, browser prefixes. Second feature uh, principle is a flexbox. Um, flexbox is awesome. Uh, you really don't need a grid framework, and flexbox is, uh, has good browser support. Normalize CSS. You you have to have some foundation, and we always if you have some component on or uh, some module, uh, we start with the uh, normalized CSS styles, or maybe some color variables, uh, media query variables, and we start from scratch and just build this component. And last principle, it's a bit controversial. It calls no DRI. And the main point of here is to avoid wrong abstraction in the beginning and focus on better components and write code that easy to delete, not easy to extend. And for those uh, who want a bit of extra, please check style lint and uh, style lint config standard. And there are style lint plugins to enforce BAM rules. So all your styles are consistent, clean, and good. You can check text version of this talk by this link. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.